start with a foot side edge at a point like this. This can happen on many patterns, not just on this bookmark, but any pattern that starts at a point, you can work it in this manner to give you a foot side edge instead of a pico edge. Initially I put two pins in and on both of these pins I'm going to hang two pairs of bobbins in open formation. On open formation you hang the first one on and you hang the second one astride it, rainbow fashion. And this is known as open formation. I hang the second two pairs on, the second temporary support pin, in the same manner. And with the two pairs on each pin, we put two twists on one of each of the pairs. So two twists on the left and two twists on the right. I'm then going to take the two middle ones and cloth stitch them together and put two twists on. And the pin then goes up between those two in the top pinhole. And this gives you the outside ones for the foot side and the two middle ones are coming into the trail. Just move those into the inside. And then the next two pinholes I'm going to work in a similar manner, both left and right again. So again I hang two pairs on, on the temporary pin. And the bobbins are always too long when you first start with them for some reason, particularly when you're on video. Again, put two twists on one of the pairs and cloth stitch the one from the top pin with the inside one from the new temporary pins. And again, put two twists on and put the next pin up. Do the same on the left as I've just done on the right. Hang two pairs on. On the temporary support pin, put two twists on and cloth stitch the inside one with the edge one that is already sitting there and put two twists on. And the pin up between the two you've just worked with. You now have quite a few pairs here. You have the outside edge pair for both and you also have one, two, three, four, five six pairs. So to start and to fill this top piece we start in the middle as you would with a spider and you cloth stitch the three on the right through the three on the left. So each time returning back to the middle to take the next one. So that one's come through, one, two, three and get the next one. And the last one to come through three Now depending on how wide your trail is, you may need to do this on the next two pins down or in this case I could drop in two pairs in the middle here which would help fill the space. Whichever way you decide to go, depending on the individual pattern, you could then put the pin up between those and these two become the workers. Covering the pin and then going back out to the respective sides. And from then on you would work the foot side edge in exactly the same manner as a normal foot side and tension it up each time. And it's a change of worker edge you're now doing. Here obviously you'll be adding pairs in for the point ground. But that is just setting up the point and hopefully that'll help with any pairs, any patterns that start at a point where you need a foot side edge. I'm aware of a quite a few patterns at the moment that people are struggling to get the pairs in to give you the foot side edge and the pairs to fill the trails. And this is an easy way of doing it just by using the temporary support pins. I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up, a like and let me know of anything you'd like to see in the future. Thanks for watching.